everyone seven day seven shots and today it's all about the serve the serve is very technical very mechanical and there are a lot of moving parts so I've developed a four step process a swing process for your serve I'm gonna take a lot of things out of it I'm gonna take the legs out of it I'm gonna take bending I'm gonna take reaching I'm gonna take all this out of it because I want you to simplify things and just get a good feel for the swing process once you get the swing process you'll advance and get to do more things into the future step one for the everyday player on the serve is the grip and this is painful so many everyday recreational players do not like to change the grip on the serve it's uncomfortable they don't get the feeling of it but if you want to have a great serve and if you want to be able to spin your serve if you want to be able to wrist snap your serve you're gonna to have to change the grip so let's get started so the first things you want to do with your grip is you want to go from your standard forehand grip whether it's over here or over here and you want to move it over to at a minimal of a continental grip and your knuckle has to go on the ridge of the racket and it has to end up like this so that when you when you go to serve you're almost at this angle and as we get into the process you'll see why that's so important so you don't want to hit like this this is going to give you a frying pan one-dimensional serve you want to use a at a minimal continental grip or even moreover a backhand grip step number two for the everyday player on the serve is your body position so we've got the grip. We have a minimum of a continental grip. Now we've got to get ready to get ourselves in position to serve. And what do you want to do? You don't want to face the net. You want to make sure you are sideways to the net because that's going to get you a maximum amount of shoulder turn and racket speed. So how do you do this? So I like to use the net post, which is on every single court in the world is a post holding up the net on every single court in this world. So you can always use that as a net post. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna use the right post. If you were left-handed, you would use the left, left post on each side of the court. So the first thing I do is I'm looking at the net post. I'm gonna have my left foot pointed to the net post. I'm gonna have my right foot pointed out. I am looking at the net post, but I'm serving to the left box. So step number two, line up with the net post, get your racket and the ball ready, and you'll be ready for step number three. Step number three for the everyday player on the serve is the actual swing process. Now we're getting into the meat potatoes. What you wanna do is after you get yourself lined up with the net post, which is step number two, and you're gonna get ready to serve, you're going to start with your ball on your racket and you're going to synchronize both your left arm and your right arm, if you're right-handed, together with the whole process. So you're going to start up together, down together, up together, and get ready to hit. So I'm going to do it again. Start up together, down together, up together, and you'll get ready to hit. Watch my arm go back like this. So I'll just do the whole thing together. Now let's incorporate the toss. How are you going to visualize that toss? We talked about the net post. When you're looking at that net post, you're going to toss it up the net post. That will be, keep you focused on, on tossing it in the right direction. So when you start together, you're looking at the net post, you're going to go down together, you're going to go up that net post and get ready to hit. Step number four, now the fun gets to start. We're gonna hit that ball. We're gonna try to hit a nice first serve, nice flat serve, and this is how we're gonna do it with our continental grip or backhand grip. Okay, step number one, we've got our grip. Almost a continental or a backhand grip. Number two, we have lined up with the net post, and we're looking at the net post because that keeps us sideways to the net. Number three, we know our swing process. We're gonna to toss and bring our racket back together. And now number four, when we go like this, bring the whole swing process back and we go to hit the ball, we want, this is the hard part, to pronate 
your racket out towards the net, make it flush. This motion of the wrist moving out is what's gonna create some racket speed and make you hit the ball a little bit flat if you hit it like this. Snapping your wrist brings it down and hard. One of the great things about using a continental grip or a backhand grip on the serve is it's gonna allow you to hit the ball like this depending on where your toss is, so you can create some spin on the ball. But that's for another lesson. Today, you are learning how to reach up. You want, your goal is to be totally extended, your arm up, you want to hit it flush, snap your wrist out, and follow through. So it should look like this, and follow through. 